During the 20th and 21st centuries, there was much greater awareness to what was happening in the human environment and how people were affecting it. This led to many more environmental protests, protests and movements internationally. Some of these were very successful and some were failures. A few of these protests included the Green Belt and Kenya Movement, Greenpeace, and Earth Day. The Green Belt in Kenya was a program focused on reforestation to fight environmental and poverty issues in Kenya. The slogan was to make Kenya green again. It was started in 1977 by the former professor Pr Wangari Mathai. She succeeded in mobilizing many African women as their goal was to reforest Africa and prevent the poverty that deforestation caused. After 20 years, about 80,000 people joined the movement, and they planted over 15 million trees in Kenya. This movement also spread outside of Kenya to 30 other African nations. Mathai had many conflicts with the Kenyan government, as she often opposed their modernization goals. These conflicts included being fired from her state office because of op opposition to the construction of a skyscraper, being beaten by police after a hunger strike, and being arrested because of spreading rumors about the corruption of the Kenyan government. She also had many problems with the longtime president of Kenya, Daniel Rob Moy, who called her a mad woman and a threat to the order and security of the country. When President Moy resigned in 2002, many of the conflicts ended and Mathai was finally re recognized as one of the most influential and inspiring environmentalists in the world. Mathai was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004 as the first ever African woman. Greenpeace is an international non-governmental organization that in 2005 had 41 branches and 2.8 million supporters worldwide. It is mainly against combat, nuclear testing, toxic waste dumping, and commercial whaling and sealing. It was founded in 1970 by Canadian and American anti-war activists in Vancouver to promote a peaceful world based on environmentally friendly principles. It is led by Quaker principles and Gandhi's idea of direct, nonviolent actions. Its slogan is, we fire images rather than missiles. Similar to the Green Belt in Kenya, Greenpeace also had many conflicts with governments. While France held a series of underground nuclear testing in Moroa in 1985, Greenpeace sent its ship, the Rainbow Warrior, to the South Pacific to disrupt the testing. The Rainbow Warrior was later sunk by a secret French organization. It has a network of chapters in 17 countries with 250 paid employees and 1.5 million contributing members. It has also helped to reduce the slaughter of harp seal pups by 90% and has established a permanent base in Antarctica. Earth Day is an American and international holiday against pollution and environmental degradation. There are actually two Earth Days, one recognized by the U.S. government on April 22nd, and the other recognized by the United Nations on the spring equinox. The first one was started by Senator Gaylord Nelson of Wisconsin in 1970. There were many anti-war protests going on in the 1960s which Senator Nelson was hoping to transfer into environmental protests. 20 million Americans demonstrated on April 22, 1970. The second Earth Day was started by an environmentalist, John McConnell, when he convinced one of the most environmentally friendly cities in the United States, San Francisco, to hold one on March 20, 1970. This Earth Day became a worldwide holiday in 1990. The Earth Day held on April 22 is more popular in the United States, however the Earth Day on the spring equinox is more popular globally. This movement was very successful, as Earth Day is now recognized all over the world and by most U.S. politicians.